makes it sink. Uh, you want to be in the water, the pool, or you want to be uh, in a sprinkler. Or, you know, we want to hose the kids down because we've got an excessive heat warning that's going to go through Friday, I believe. We're going to feel, we felt like 106 today for the boroughs. We're going to feel like 105 to 110 degrees tomorrow. Right now, we're at 99 for the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, Manhattan. You're at 105 in Bayonne, 89 Westbury. It feels like 93 in Larchmont, all because of the winds out of the south. The transportation of that warmth, that moisture coming from the Gulf of Mexico. It's not only making us hot, it's also giving us thunderstorms to the west of us. You know, I can't rule out what's over here at Mount Olive approaching us later this evening, but it doesn't look like yesterday. We saw some pretty strong torrential rain yesterday. Yesterday. I don't think that'll happen tonight. Maybe tomorrow as this frontal system slowly starts to progress toward us with all that moisture coming from the Gulf of Mexico. I can't rule out at what I like to call a gully washer. I tell you, you know, those type of uh, rain showers where we saw a month ago into the subway where it was flooding. Can't rule that out tomorrow between 3 and 6 p.m. But story number two is it's going to be hot today or tonight, tomorrow, Friday, and then things are going to get better. If you look at the dew points, you see they're going down, right? They're going down. That means it's going to get cooler over the weekend. Right now, what the story is, is that we've got high pressure over the ocean. Rotation around the highs, clockwise like your watch, and so that takes up all that warmth and that humidity up from, you know, from Florida. Uh, through the Carolinas up towards us, and it takes us 5 to 15 degrees above average. That's the same situation tomorrow. What we felt like today is going to be even hotter, as James Ford said. We're going to feel like 100 to 110 tomorrow. These are indoor kind of temperatures with the AC or the pool or the beach, but you really can't be walking around doing the running and all that stuff tomorrow afternoon. You can't take the doggies on long walks tomorrow because it's extreme caution when you're talking about 90 to 103, but we're in the danger zone. We're above 103. You can get heat exhaustion. Uh, within probably 20, 30 minutes if you stay out there and you're doing too much physical exertion. Same situation on Friday. We still have high pressure. While the temperatures might not be as hot, you won't notice it. It's going to feel the same way. There's no big difference between 101 and 106. You're, you're walking around going, I feel like I got a hot, wet blanket on me. That's the case Friday. Saturday, we start to cool off a little bit, but then high pressure by Sunday, that's what's going to cool us off. We got the penguin up there just trying to tell you, I got cooler air headed your way, and your temperature Sunday morning in the upper 60s to the low 70s, so much better Sunday and Monday. But we've got to get through, guys. Tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday, 311. That's the place to call if you don't have AC in the house. The houses will be hotter at night over the next several nights. You need to make sure you use the AC or go somewhere where it's cooler. I send it back to you.